Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Uncle Bill. And today's 34 of 100 Day Beach Finds. And folks, we're gonna talk about something that we already talked about in a smaller scale. Um, if you live off the coast of North Carolina like I do, you know the, the inlets in the ocean provide a nice breeding ground for one of its favorite sea uh, shellfish. And that'll be this guy, the oyster. And people that love the oyster, folks, they tear oysters up. I mean, they tear them up. Um, and they need them, you know. These are good-sized ones, but that's not the ones we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about these ones. The monster oyster. I don't even know if that's what they call a dinosaur oyster, but as you can clearly tell, this is the biggest regular one I've got. And it just easily... And we're going to use that as an example... For the rest of the ones I have. And the only way I'll pick up an oyster so it's got to have that deep pocket where that where that meat hangs out in. And you can see that the oyster was probably just as big as this shell was inside of it. Like a steak. That's the only thing I can imagine that this thing was a steak. You know what I mean? I mean what what what's gonna come out of that watch? You know? I got a five gallon bucket I'm trying to dip out of folks. Look at this thing, man. Who okay. did I put the camera? Look how big that covers the whole face. It's huge. And you can't you don't really want to go out uh 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 beach beach surf uh shelling beach combing picking up these big guys because you're not going out there long I mean each one of these things is five to ten pounds I mean they're heavy they're huge we got worms in it yeah see the worms in this one all over the back you see it's got all kind of cool little things maybe you can have a lot of these they just, they just weigh too much they are cool looking but in reality what you gonna do with them but they do look good as landscaping um in aquariums look at this thing man it looks like a uh a catcher's mid a highlight stick you could use this thing to play uh rugby not rugby but um Damn, what is that? Um, ain't nobody can help me out, can you? Uh, man, the stick with the ball. North Carolina got a good team, too. Can't even think of it. It'll come to me. Look how big this is. Can you tell how big? Hello? Are you there? Yeah. It's a monster, folks. I mean, that thing is huge. It's really big. That's my bucket. Look how big. Give you the idea. Check this one out. So there's a couple that are a little special than others. And this is this is kind of I call it a nice two piece. Look at this, folks. Let me flip them over. It's a monster. Man, that thing right there head to head. You can fit a turtle shell on it. And I got one too. Look how big that is. It's pretty to me. You too. And uh, I think this is whole. I think this is whole. I'm not even sure if that's an oyster or a clam or some other kind of shellfish. But look. See the crack? That look whole to y'all? Think that thing's got a big pearl in it or something. And it's heavy. I mean, this thing is heavy, folks. This thing probably weighs shit. 10, I'm sorry. Excuse the language. At least 10, 15 pounds. I mean, it is really heavy. I don't know how anyone hold it no more. 
was giving me. I didn't find this, but it's just such a pretty shell. Look at this thing. Lacrosse, man. I'm trying to lacrosse. This could be a lacrosse stick, too. Tell me. Goddamn, I'll ball it. Huge. It fits in there. It just fits in there. Easy. Look at that. Got one more big one like this, man. Boom. I think it had an ogre in it. That's where Shrek sleeps. And I'll tell you, I mean, it's just hard to imagine that this thing weighs 10, like 10 pounds. And you buy a bushel, buy a, uh, oysters, buy a bushel. You know what I mean? I got two five gallon buckets that I just showed y'all. Uh, like oysters. <laughs> this is the big one. Look at this thing, man. I mean, it's it's so big. I got to back away from the camera. But this, this oyster could just go right up the ladder on him. I mean, she's huge. Can't even. There you go. This ain't even like a fish. You got to back it away. It's so big. Yeah, since that's the only thing we. As a matter of fact, if you're going out there to pick them, you're going to be it's just short trips. I mean, it's really heavy stuff. And if you had to find this too, I mean, look at the size of this coral. It's it is really big, man. And I found a lot of coral. I could scan this room right now and show you a bunch of it. But very, no, none of them ain't gonna be this big. This thing's huge. I mean, it's just really big. And I, you know, I, I don't. It's hard to tell side side by side when you're looking at something this big, how big it is, and what's bigger. Measurements don't lie. Scales don't lie. That's how you would find out. But there, I asked y'all. So here's the gray one. I'll put my face in front of it to give you an idea. I'm trying to do the best I can because you know I can't see the screen now. And I got this one. How big it is. Yeah, we do. We do a flip on it too. Or this one. One second. Of shells on the inside. I don't know if you see that. And this is the biggest fossil I got, and I've seen some really cool comments. Some people say it might be a vertebrate. That that sounds looks pretty. I can see that being it. But if you know, man, I sure love to find out. I'm trying to get y'all the angles and stuff. There's been rocks and sediment and stuff that's grown on it along with coral, barnacles, and all the worms. But I know there's something that somebody is seeing instantly recognize what this is. Okay. What else we got? Oh, this is the biggest whelks I have. Not in the best of condition, but it's good size ones. We see something bored in there and tore him up. He's gone. I got this one. Look at the spike on there. You see the spike on there? It just get wore down from years of washing up down the sand and the water. Salt water is pretty corrosive, folks. Really corrosive. I got my big mass, it's the biggest worm thing I got. Man, that thing is so cool. It's kind of look like a horror movie. I did not do anything to this. Um, but it is losing more and more chunks. Man, that's so cool. It was a lot bigger when I found it. Much bigger. I got this cool shorts too. Yeah. 
little spiny. Check this guy out. Real smooth. These things always look fake. And of course, I got some real pretty coral. Something about this reminds me of the Millennial Falcon. You, you know what the Millennial Falcon is? <laughs> Man, look at this thing. This thing is popping. snails and this one's nice and this is a big one folks I mean this thing is huge I don't know how big they can get but I know this is the biggest nice one I got just look how I dwarfed it boom I can stick it in there oh no that's a big one that thing is huge here check it out oh fella he didn't have a chance I got my since we're talking about oyster. I think that's an oyster. Looks like one. But it, I've had this thing for quite a few years. I've even shown it on a couple of videos. Just because it is really cool and it's something that you can find. But the damn the oyster got barnacles and worms on the back. How cool is that? It's cool to me. And since I can just put my hands on it, how about that big brain? That brain's awesome, man. You imagine eating that? Do you like oysters, man? If you do, tell me how you like them in the comments. Eat some big ones here, folks. I mean, some big ones. Trying to get something. Ain't no telling what they did in these. Look at this. Hey, if you can, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope everybody's having a good day and staying safe. Peace.